Hello guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial on how to make a scrolling maze game. And in this tutorial, we'll be making a game like this, where you have a simple square running around the maze and trying to get to the center. And it can follow the camera, the camera follows it. And it is really cool to make um, challenging mazes so that you can challenge your friends. And yeah, so let me finish this. this and that go here and once you're at the red cross red spot right here you can go in and win the game so that is what we're going to be making so in here we have two sprites naming it maze and player so in the maze we have a simple maze like the simple maze tutorial I made last time and this is a nothing sprite make sure there's simply nothing in it okay maze. and don't forget to add a red cross right here so in the player we have a simple square that is going to be big because the maze is going to be big too so let's make the maze big so in here when green flag clicked we will go to back layer first and then we will switch costume to nothing and then we'll set size to 250 and then switch costume to maze and just like that we have a big sized maze then let's go to the player and in here we'll put in a one green flag clicked put in a forever loop if oh and we forgot to position it I'm going to position it x0 y0 forever and put in an or so key right arrow pressed or key depressed and we'll make a new block we will naming it move and then add it two inputs the first one will be x and the second one will be y run without screen fresh and then we will move that and then in the right arrow key we'll move four steps and zero on the y duplicate that and make it left arrow or key a pressed then we'll move negative four on the x and we'll duplicate both of these put both of these zero and then this is up arrow and the w and then we'll move four on the y and the rest down arrow and the s key we'll put it negative four on the y axis and then in here we'll simply change x and change y to x and y like that and we'll make collision so if touching color so if touching color black there and then you will duplicate this and then we'll put this out of the way put in the minus and put in the x right there y right there and he'll put in zero and zero 
So now, just like that, we have simple movement, but we don't have the scrolling just yet. So we'll do that after this. So now let's make the scrolling. So in here, we'll make a new variable, naming it scroll x for all sprites and scroll y for all sprites. Then we'll set it like there. And for this, we will need to drag and drop the map and place it in the center of where you want. If your maze is different, then you can place it right here. Okay, so place it wherever you want. I'm gonna place it right here. And then you can simply follow these. So uh, I'm just gonna do in the maze to Y205. Okay, so put everything. And if your maze is different, then go to the maze and drag it where you want it. And then follow the X and Y positions to the player. Okay. And then scroll Y for me, it will be 200 and like 20. And then now we will put in a change. Scroll X by 0 minus scroll X. And we'll duplicate that. Change scroll Y. To zero minus y position, and we'll go to x zero y zero. And before that, we'll put in a forever loop. We'll go to x, scroll x, and scroll y, and just like that, we have our simple game. Where you can move around. Yeah, pretty much everything. Okay, so that is the scrolling part. Now let's make the part when the player touches the red cross. Okay, so outside here we'll put in an if touching color. I'm gonna go with red. That red. So remember your color on the cross. And then we'll simply stop all. Like that. And put it right there. Okay, so now if we play it, I think it's done. So we'll move around. And let's go to the red spot. Okay. Just the same part. I can memorize my maze. Okay. Then go here. Go here, go here, go here, go here. Here, 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 here. This and I'm close. Now if we touch the red spot, then the game ends. So thank you for watching guys. Please leave a thumbs up, share and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.